Have a good day everyone. So today's lesson, we are going to discuss about 2.4, the level of organizations in the multicellular organism. And I'm very sure all of you have a prior knowledge about the level of organization in multicell, which is consists of the cell and then it will form the tissues, organ and system. So without further delay, let me discuss together. An organ is perform a special function as a result from the combinations of tissues and that will form the organ. For the example, it's about the heart organ. It also consists from the epithelial tissue, cardiac muscles tissue, connective tissue and nerve tissue. The epithelial tissue will fill up the spaces in the heart. Meanwhile, for the cardiac muscle tissue, the function is to pump in the blood to the rest of the body. The connective tissue, such as the blood, will connect the system in the organ and the nerve tissue will regulate the rhythm of the heartbeat. Here are the main organ systems in the human body. Each multicellular organism is made up of many organs and have different organ works together to carry out the specific function to form an organ system. For human body system, there are about 11 organ systems and we will discuss today. It consists of the skeletal system, reproductive system, blood skeletal system, lymphatic system, nervous system, digestive, respiratory, integumentary, endocrine, urinary, and muscular system. The first one is about the digestive system. It consists from the mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, and large intestine. The function is to digest the food into the simple form for easy absorption. Next one is about the blood circulation system. It consists of heart, artery, vein, and blood capillary. The function is to transport the nutrient, respiratory gases, and the waste products. Next one is the endocrine system. It consists of the gland that secretes hormone. The main function is to coordinate the body activities with the nervous system. Respiratory system. It consists of the trachea, nose, lung, and diaphragm. The main function is to exchange the oxygen and carbon dioxide gases between the body and the external environment. Muscular system. It consists of the skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. The main function is to contract and relax and produce the movement in different parts of the human body. The female reproductive system consists of the ovary, uterus, fallopian tube, vagina, and cervix. The main function here is to produce the ovum and the female sex hormones. Male reproductive system consists of the testes, prostate, gland, and penis. The main function is to produce sperm and the male sex hormone. Lymphatic system it consists of the spleen, lymph nodes, and lymph vessels. The main functions of the lymphatic system to maintain the balance of the bodily fluid and prevent infectious disease. Nervous system, it consists of the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerve. The functions of the nervous system is to detect and send information in the body as well as coordinate the body activities. Skeletal system, consists of the bone, cartilage, ligament, and tendon. The main function is support the body, protect the internal organ, and provide a base for muscle adhesion. Integumentary system, it consists of skin, and the main function here is to protect the body from the physical injury, infection, and dehydration. Urinary system, consists of the kidney, ureter, urethra, and the bladder. The function here is to eliminate the waste product such as the urea and uric acid from the body. And last but not least is about the plant system which is divided into the shoot system and the root system. The shoot system consists of stem, leaf, shoot, flower and fruits. The stem and twigs are support the system and then the leaf will be placed at the vertical position. The function is to allow the maximum absorption of the sunlight during photosynthesis. The flowers are involved in the pollination process and the root system consists of all roots in a plant. 
the functions of a root system is to absorb water and mineral salt as well as provide the support for the plants. So with that, thank you very much. Have a nice day and see you again.